Tim Twentyman and Mike O'Hara here with DetroitLions.com. And Mike, we can take a breath a little bit. Obviously a busy day today for the Lions. We're actually sitting in the spot where some press conferences took place. Right. Lions were busy. You know, they signed uh, running back Reggie Bush, uh, safety uh, uh, Glover Quinn. Um, Chris Houston re-upped and then and getting a talented defensive end in, in Jason Jones. Just your, your initial impressions of the signings. Well, you know, you and I both did those, you know, those uh, uh, things leading up to the, uh, to the free agent. And I think we had all those guys on our list, you know, Jason Jones, a lot of people might not know him out there, but a good depth guy. He'll start and he'll be a good solid player for you, which you, which you need on that defensive line. Glover Quinn, a lot of people had him as rated one of the top two or three safeties in free agency. Uh, Reggie Bush speaks for himself. He'll get you. He'll get you yards. Like, I've said this a million times. You're gonna get sick of it. I want plays, not volume. I want when you got it on second and eight, turn it into first and ten. And I think one that went maybe under man there was Chris Houston. I didn't expect it today. I really didn't. When I got here and you told me that he'd signed, I wanted to see what you've been drinking. I didn't believe it at first, but yeah. And, and I think that's an important signing for them. You look at what they have in terms of under contract at cornerback next year. Obviously the three rookies they drafted last year, Ron Bartell, a veteran guy. You know, Chris Houston was a big part of that, and I think now adding Glover Quinn, that's just a, a, an improvement to their secondary, and, and they're instantly better. Well, I, I don't know if it changes the draft. I mean, do you think if they wanted a cornerback, let's say they wanted D. Miller, just the nuts, we're not saying they did, okay, hold on over there, draft next. Don't <laughs> write this one down. But suppose they were focused on Milner with the fifth pick and knew they could get him. Do you think they wouldn't take him now because they signed Chris Houston? I don't think so. No, I don't either. I, I'm not saying that's the guy, but I don't think if they wanted a defensive end, now they got Jason Jones, if now they're not going to draft a defensive end. But I think what it does is it gives you options. Yeah. You know, now you're not maybe pigeonholed into taking D. Milner because of what you your current situation is. So it, it can play that way as well. The Reggie Bush signing... He was excited to be here. I think that was the most popular one with, with fans. I absolutely. think he, he instantly makes that offense better. Oh, absolutely. And look, people have been on that one since since January when the season ended. They needed a running back. Everybody knows what they need in that offense. They're not going to get Adrian Peterson. They're not going to get a 350-carry, 2,000-yard runner. They're going to get a guy who fits this offense the way Job had bested. Again, it's not volume, it's plays, playmaking. He's not a third down back, too. He's not a, a change of pace. He does that, but I think he proved in Miami that he can carry some of the load, too. He's not, just a, third he's not just a third down right. back, not just a, he a can speed play on, element. Right. He can play on first and second down, and we might see that. Now, quite first a bit. and goal at the first and goal at the two, I might bring in uh, bring in Mikel Lashir because that, that that's kind of been his forte is scoring touchdowns. Now, Reggie, you take him from the goal line to the two. Take a break, bring in LeSure. Obviously a lot going on here in Allen Park today, but free agency is still only 24 hours old. There's a lot more to this, Mike, right? Well, it started at 4 o'clock yesterday. At 5.30, I was getting tweets from people going, are they ever going to do anything? <laughs> it, I, almost, I looked at you about 2 o'clock today, and I said, you know, Tim, free agency is 22 hours old. It seems like it's been going on forever, and they've signed four guys. Three, you know, and then and then keeping Chris Houston. So, and don't forget a couple other guys that they re-signed uh, uh, before that. Too. DeAndre Levy, DeAndre and, Levy. And Corey Hilliard, Corey and some Hilliard, of those yeah. guys that are important pieces. Obviously, busy here in Allen Park. Free agency is far from over, but the Lions are certainly a better football team sitting here today than they were yesterday.